Hey, this is Coach Josh, and we got our audio situation fixed, so improved the uh, the audio quality here in the in the office. And uh, behind me, you've got my upside down uh, uh, inverter kit and uh, my little whiteboard for my home workouts. Hopefully, you guys have uh, some place like that set up where you can work out here in Oregon. We're, at, we're going into another phase of lockdown. So we're going to lose the, the gyms for a little while. Um, uh, but today I wanted to talk about why when it comes to your uh, physical and mental health and specifically um, how they work together, why moving every day is so important. Uh, move every day is a, a principle of grit fit. It's also uh, something that's been proven to help people in uh, different situations manage uh, uh, mental health in a really positive way. And there's some things that I just wanted to remind you uh, of that is important to your brain and some qualities that your brain and body have together. And I guess the first like, thing that comes to mind is when it comes to your biology and your your body and your, uh, um, your joints and your muscles and your heart, you only get to keep what you use. So anything that the body doesn't need, it ends up letting go of. And um, by using a joint over and over again, using your heart, you know, using your using your muscles to overcome resistance in the environment. So it's through training and exercise and play, um, you're you're reminding your body and your brain that you need these things. It's use it or lose it, just like a language, movement, strength flexibility, they go away when they're not being used. And the, the body sort of, you know, uh, parallel to that, uh, the body heals itself in movement, it doesn't heal itself at rest, you know, it repairs um, muscle tissue and tendon fibers. And obviously sleep is huge and important for so many different things, but the body balances itself through movement and it heals itself through movement. Um, for instance, when you're going through uh, surgery, um, surgery recovery, whether it's a knee replacement or, you know, hip work or whatever, movement is a big part of your recovery plan because um, movement is how you, the, the brain explains to the joint or maybe the joint explains to the nervous system what it needs uh, to be rebuilt. So the lines of force, the stress, the connective tissue, the muscle, the bone, um, it all needs to be communicated to the to the brain and to the nervous system where to uh, to heal and where to replace new tissue, and it does that through movement. So by moving, your body's constantly rebalancing, rebalancing itself and reshaping itself, which is why having uh, good movement hygiene and a good movement practice is so important because that's how that's how you heal and continue to rebalance yourself over time. And Truly, the brain only exists because of the body. If you have an organism that doesn't move, doesn't need to move and navigate through three-dimensional space, it doesn't really need a brain. Uh, you know, in the book um, Exercise in the Brain, they talk about you know sea anemones when they plant. Once they stop swimming and they plant themselves, the first thing that they do, one of the first things they do, is they eat their brain because the brain takes up so much energy and they don't need it. To navigate anymore um, because they're they're stationary, and the more problems you have to solve in your environment, and the more things you have to do with your physical body, and more choices and decisions you make, and uh, the more resource management that you have to do, then the you know the more you got to use your brain. So the more you move, the more you're 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 signaling to the body or to the brain that it's needed, and uh, the easier it is to, to to continue to have high brain function, the heart the brain, the cardio, the oxygen, the blood that gets to the, you know, in between those two organs has a lot to do with how your brain functions. And on that note, the body, when you're moving, the body, or, uh, movement in your body makes it easier for your brain to learn. So the hormones that are released when you're exercising, they actually increase the neuroplasticity and the ability to lay new neural fibers and networks in your brain. And uh, that's amazing. It's an, it's an amazing thing that the, the mind and the body work so closely together. But when you're moving, your brain is um, becoming more able to adapt and grow and learn. 
And um, the, the, the relationship is, is fascinating because learning and laying new neural pathways is a little bit painful and it takes a lot of energy. And the hormones that you're releasing through movement, they actually, um, you know, the insulin-like growth factor and dopamine, things like that, they actually uh, make it pleasant or, um, you know, they reduce the stress of laying new neural uh, pathways. So um, by moving, you make it easier to learn and you increase the functioning of your of your own brain, problem solving, um, executive function, things like that. And uh, it's a it's an awesome, beautiful, fascinating relationship between the body and the brain. Um, but you got to use it. You have to make a choice to use your body every single day. And, you know, I kind of already covered this, but moving your body in your, in your environment releases uh, hormones, like where this is positive hormones, you get, um, you know, endorphins, you get uh, insulin like growth factor, you get all these um, um, hormones that, uh, you know, decrease stress and uh, increase the feelings of, you know, pleasant euphoria, um, you know, stress relief, um, uh, well being. <clears throat> and the biochemistry of your brain is, is rebalanced when you move um, during the day. It doesn't have to be a lot. It doesn't have to be a lot of movement. It just be a few jumpy jacks or skipping rope for a couple minutes. But uh, those hormones that improve your positive mental attitude and um, sense of confidence and well-being, you can control the dose. You can get you know as much or as little as you can with exercise and and if you, if you haven't found the right exercise for you, as I, I think a lot of us sometimes struggle with different exercises, like um, they're like, like running, you know, for some people, a few minutes of running is, you know, makes them feel really good. And there's people that will have to run for an hour before anything, any, uh, any, any positive hormones are released. I think everybody uh, has, you know, an exercise or a movement modality that that makes their body feel good and their brain feel good, we just have to find it. So if it's not running, try biking. If it's not biking, try skipping rope. If it's not skipping rope, try yoga. If it's not yoga, try, you know, calisthenics and, and, um, and, and, and animal movements. But, you know, keep exploring options until you find the, the movement category that makes you feel the best. So to review, why moving every day is so important for your health, you know, in the context of, you know, grit fit, but the rest of your life, um, you only get to keep what you use. The body heals itself through movement. The brain only exists because of the body and what you do with it. The body improves the brain's ability to learn and grow. And then number five, the, the body, you, you release positive, um, feel good hormones when you move. So the more you move, the better you feel, you know, mentally. I notice um, that was my list of five. I didn't say anything about burning calories. You know, that may or may not be something that's important to you, but in terms of your long-term physical and mental health, I think those are the five key aspects. So move every day. If you, uh, if you haven't found something you'd like to do, um, you know, experiment, Message me with questions if you have any. Always uh, Coach Josh uh, signing off today for GritFit. Hope you're having a wonderful morning and afternoon.